different location. We are now downstairs in my living room with, yes, it's up, the Christmas tree. It has been up for weeks and it was decorated for Halloween. I managed to find a loophole to get the tree up early, but now it is decorated for Christmas. I will be showing it yet in its entirety at some point, but for now, until the new year, this is our new festive backdrop area. I hope you like it. Um, Today, I am very excited to be testing out the new Belle Jordan palette, which has been done in collaboration with Obsession Makeup, who are part of the Revolution Beauty family. Um, So yeah, I'm very excited to try this one out. Before I get going though, please make sure you are subscribed before we go any further. I can wait. It's okay. Just go down there, click subscribe, then click that bell that's next to it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, right, let's get going then. So let's see how I created this look, how excited I got over putting way too much eyeliner on for the look I've created, and um, yeah, let's just see what calamitous nightmare she gets up to today. <laughs> okay, okay, let's get straight into the Belle Jordan with Obsession palette. Can we just talk about this flipping packaging? It's beautiful! Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it! Oh, you thought, oh! I don't know what's wrong with me today. Right, let's just get into it. Oh, I'm loving the colours! Okay, so we open the box and we've got this little shablam going on with, oh yes, it's got a mirror. Oh my god, just look how deep a non-wishy-washy, I don't know what the term is, those colours are. Just look at it. Right, how'd you get this here? Plastic shenan off. Here we go. It's the most satisfying bit. I can't do it. It's the most satisfying bit of getting anything new. Oh. All of these colours look absolutely incredible. They just look so rich and so deep and my phone's not on silent. I do apologise to you all sincerely. The ones stand out so far are this one, let me do this, this one called Queen, this one called Magic, this which is AF, this goldy one down here, and then this purple like, oh, just almost like a neon lilac go with um that is beautiful and that's called miami i think yes miami oh my god i love it just all of it's gorgeous elixir and we've got a decent mix there of mattes and shimmers and transition shades and deeper shades and oh my god that black looks incredible <gasps> right let's just dig in let's just dig in let's just dig in i love the mirror as well the size of that mirror is epic <gasps> love it Let's get this roaster cooking. Okay, so I'm going to use, I think I'm gonna use um, 170G for a crease transition type dealy mabobba. So let's go there. Ooh, that's a nice, that's like a muted mauve. Oh my God. Okay, blended. Do you need to zoom in a little bit? Should we zoom you in? There we go, I've zoomed you in a little bit. Oh my God, right, so this 170G is like a really nice muted mauve colour. Um, and oh my God. Right, this is the easiest I have found anything to blend in a long time. That is incredible, but it doesn't blend away either. Ooh, okay. Okay. Right I seriously need to do my eyebrows. Does any of you lot, like, think, no, no full well, you need to do a job. And then you think, yeah, I'll do that later when I've got time. And then you forget about it. But then every time I do my eye makeup, I'm like, Layla, you need seriously to do your eyebrows. But obviously I'm in the middle of this now. And then I've got to go and pick Charlotte up and then I will forget later. Right, what we're going to do to deepen this hair crease up. I feel like I've been doing the same look recently. I feel like I've been doing the kind of browns and then a gold shimmer lid recently. So I want to switch it up a little bit. Okay, so then I'm going to use So Cute in the crease as well. Same brush. Oh my god, that is a gorgeous pinky berry toned. Like it's not quite as dark as a, a full berry, I would say, but a really nice pinky version. I've literally got in with the lightest dip of that and it has just blended and given me colour payoff and given me vibrancy and given me everything. Right. I mean, they are 
incredible colours. Absolutely incredible. Incredible. Okay, what else can we do? <laughs> okay, so I've just gone in again to that side just to see what happens and how it builds. And oh my god, it literally just gives you the deepest, most vibrant colour ever. This layers and builds so nicely and still gives you that gorgeous blend. <gasps> oh, look at Obsession have really, I think, upped the game dramatically lately. So I'm thinking a bit of a halo eye with the two purples down at the bottom. We've got Miami in 13. Miami is obviously that very vibrant um, lilac-y colour and then 13 is more your plummy, um, aubergine -y, eggplanty kind of colour. So let's, let's halo that sucker. See what I did there. Okay, so switching brushes um, and I'm going to go in with 13 first, just on the outer and inner thirds. Oh, I like that. Gorgeous. Oh my god, that is a gorgeous deep purpley colour. So if you mentally split your eyelid into three, into thirds, you want to do the inner one and the outer one in your darker colour and then leave that gap in the middle. So just do the other side. Oh my god, I was so impressed with these pigments, dudes. Okay, okay, so I've done both sides of those. My chair just slid. Oh, I nearly fell down. Um, so now I'm going to go in with this shade Miami, which is the gorgeous, vibrant, lavendery, lilac y neon kind of deal. It's not actually neon, it's just so vibrant. I can't think of a different word to describe it. So I think I'm going to use my finger for this one, just into the middle. Oh my god. Oh my god, when that goes on, that is like, oh my god. That is incredible. It's like a, a very, very, very subtle duochrome almost when it goes on. <gasps> I love it. Ooh. Oh my God, that is insane. I love that. And then I'm going to go back in with the same brush. Not with any more on, but I'm just going to then blend those two edges. And then along the crease as well. Okay, so I'm happy with that so far. So let me just go and do the rest of it. And then we'll come back and do underneath and in a corner. And then we will discuss what we think. Give me a minute. Okie dokie, there we go. I think I've got a little bit too ham on the eyeliner. I think I got a little excited there to say I've done like a halo effect. But you can still see that gorgeous purpley, lilac-y, bright. Mm! colour. Um, right, so all that's left to do now is in a corner and underneath the eye, so let's crack on with that. Oh, I really struggled to find a brush that's small enough to do my under eye, so if anyone's got any um, suggestions, please do send them in. Right, so send them in. Answers on a postcard! Um, right, so I think underneath I'm going to go for... Um, I think I'm going to go in with the pink that we used which is called so cute oh my god i like forget how pigmented it is oh it's beautiful i mean i mean and then what i'm gonna do is take some of the purple and just put that in the inner just a little bit, just that last little bit, not right in the inner corner because I'm going to go and put another colour in there, but just, just to continue that line and just bring that colour in. And what I've done is I've kind of dragged the pink through it as well, so it kind of just hits it as you hit the light and it looks really cool. <gasps> I love it. Right, let's talk inner corner. Okay, so inner corner, I'm going to go for this beautiful icy baby pink up here called Glow Baby. Um just looks beautiful. Oh, look at that. Mm. Just look, can you see it? Oh, love it. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. And I've, it's kind of going with the highlight I've got on as well, which is the 
girl's best friend diamond one from I Heart Revolution. Oh, and it all ties it in. Oh my God, that is stunning. <gasps> right, mascara, my loves, and then we are done. There we go. I am super happy with that look. Oh, I love it. What do you all think? A little bit colourful, a little bit dramatic. Let's face it, we love a bit of drama around these ear parts. Um, so that was the Belle Georgian palette with Obsession. I am incredibly obsessed with this now. Just incredibly. We saw this in the shop. When I saw it online, I thought, yep, that looks a good palette. That looks a nice palette. Belle obviously gets some amazing looks for it. She's a beautiful, beautiful girl. Um, but then when I saw it in person in the shop, there's literally, like, I don't think I've put anything in a shopping basket as quick as I did this. We literally, Charlotte was with me, and I literally opened the lid on the tester palette that they had out in boots and we just looked at each other and we're like yep so that went straight in the basket there um and i've been desperate to try it ever since these colors are incredible they are all incredibly vibrant and i feel like there's been a lot of palettes out at the minute that just look the same as a lot of other palettes that just look like you can maybe get one or two looks from but they're all essentially going to be the same this one i feel like you can do bold nighttime looks, you can do colourful looks, you can do muted natural everyday looks, you can do nude looks. Um, I feel like there is a choice for a lot of different skin shades as well there, which are looks. Um, so yeah, that is my absolute favourite colour in any palette, hands down, so far in my life. I think that purple is absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, I think there's a great range of shimmers and mattes in there and they are all incredibly pigmented, all incredibly vibrant, but all incredibly easy to work with. I have not had one instance where the brush has gone on and I've thought, oh, I've put too much on and I've had to deal with it. It just builds, it's vibrant, it's easy to work with, it blends. I think it was £10. We've got 16 shades in there and a complete mixture of matte and shimmer shades as well, which is just incredible. Um, you get a gorgeously huge mirror on it as well. Do you want to see the lights up there? There's some more fairy lights for you. Um, yeah, really decent sized mirror. The packaging is gorgeous. Obviously, we all know I'm obsessed with pink and grey and I just think Think they are the nicest colours that go together at the moment. I love this writing on the front as well. Sort of like tattoo writing, if you know what I mean. Um, I love that the colour selection is on the back as well, so you can have a look without needing to open the palette. But once you do, it's absolutely incredible. I really, really love it. That is going to be up there in my favourite palettes. I'm afraid that's going to be going straight in the box with my favourite palettes. So yeah, super impressed with that one. I hope you've enjoyed this review and this first impressions video. I hope it's given you some useful information about this palette if you have been thinking of trying it. Um, if you do see it in the shop, do remember that I've done this and pick it up. Go and get yourself one and have a go with it. I hope you like this look I've done and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for coming to stay in Layla Land for a little while. Please make sure you've subscribed before you leave. Please make sure you go and leave me a comment. I love, love, love seeing your comments and connecting with you all and having a chat. Um, so make sure you go and do that. Click your notification bell so that you are notified whenever I upload a video. And I will see you in my next video. Please have an amazing day, whatever it is you're doing. Take care. I love you very much. And I will see you next time. Bye.